Delgado, right? really quick though, it dries pretty quick, it's really hot out. 
know what we do for the edges is we get the brush. And we go in with the brush, and we do all the, we do all the edges. All the way around. Why don't you go back and hit this right here? We're There's five other, there's uh, four other cities, you know, that are getting shorts too. So, but yeah, the, uh, this is something that we're, we're like super stoked to be a part of because we love to get our art into other other spaces that aren't like your traditional art gallery or, or you know, even, you know, street art is really popular and murals and stuff like that. But we even like things kind of outside of even that realm, like and doing projects like this. Huh? Exactly, yeah, exactly. That's, that's what the is all about. We painted a grand piano. And it's surfboards, we picked on skateboards. We even painted a shuttle bus. You know the big shuttle bus with all the boots, kind of like a school bus? We painted the whole thing. Finished painting. Our good friend Juan, who, who actually painted the, all the blue on the court, he's gonna come back and, and do all the lines. And so, yeah, I already told him, like, you know, we're not gonna keep your lines back to me. He's like, that's all right. I'll, I'll, you know, we'll touch it. We'll paint all the lines and then we'll touch up all the lines. Yeah, that's
Right, that's the top, that's the top that we're gonna do with the brush. To be more precise. You might get one today. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna hang out. Okay. Okay, I got a spot right over here. try to like instead of going one long trip you want to try to fill in the whole part um yeah you can stand there that's fine you can stand there and you stand on are you asking her questions or is she just talking to you Oh, the 
colors are really spectacular, and all the colors are like similar or like re related to tennis. In a way. See you soon. Bye. Right at the very beginning. Right, we're coming near the camera. Right? Yeah, it was like over there. Like I think we had started. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Right. Yeah, like I said, I. Yeah. Right over and they're going to put that double one. 
I was wondering, was he going for, do you think he was going for uh, a little field mouse in the front yard or one of the cats? Okay, well, I had one of the hawks in New York drop a carcass in the backyard I was working. Good job. Right here, man. What did they what did they say that was uh, wrong with him or he was just in shock? Just tired. Yeah. He or she. Turn his mic on, Josh. Uh, that's to the other camera. So we'll just do the same audio we did with her. Okay. All right, hey, how's it going, guys? We're uh, here in Miami, uh, in the middle of a tennis court, and we're painting? Yeah, this is a, a art courts project that we're doing with the US Open in partnership with Chase. Um, we were, they reached out to me and Manuela, Key Create, to create some awesome art here. So uh, we're about, Two thirds done with the first court, and then right here where I'm standing is going to be the second court. The piece we're making is called Love Infinity. Uh, you know, for the love of the sport, love of art, you know, getting the community engaged. Uh, we got some assistant painters out here from First Serve Miami, uh, some of the kids that are involved with the tennis program, and now we got them painting, so they're putting their tennis muscles into artwork. Uh, it's been great out here. We've had great weather. It's been it's such an honor to be involved with this project. Uh, we we're all, Key Create is all about you know bringing art to you know different places and unusual spots. And I've never even I've never seen a tennis court that had artwork on it. So I think this is a, a really cool thing to uh, to get involved with. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, I guess I'm a little short of words right now, so I'm gonna get back to do what I do best and bring art back to the court.
coats in Miami? Number one, it's the number one rule is get hydrated. Make sure you stay hydrated, right?
get her seat. Coach. grew up playing in an NJTL program and I know how important it is for kids to have an outlet that really stresses education, education being the key. That's the reason I think education was so important for me and, and hopefully for the next generation. In celebration of the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Open in the Open Era, the USTA, in partnership with Chase, will build upon its shared mission to strengthen communities through tennis by restoring five public tennis facilities across the country. Each court facility will be defined by a theme that captures the vibe of the local community, resulting in a breathtaking demonstration of creativity and culture that will serve to inspire and excite our national junior tennis and learning, NJTL Network. The NJTL Network is committed to delivering tennis and educational programs to underserved communities. When I became the president of the USCA, my goals for the USCA Foundation were really serving as many youth as possible, providing them opportunities to play our sport while advancing themselves with their education.
that way? This way? Yeah. Sophia, I just finished painting with the artists on the court, and I think it's really cool to be painting with them because it's a really hard work. My fingers really hurt right now. I've got paint, well, sand all over my hands, and it's really, you have to get down a lot, and I think it's really, can I do that again? Okay. okay. Um, it's really fun because well, you're just painting and you're happy and it's just nice to get dirty sometimes on the floor. I think it was really cool painting with the artists who definitely know how they feel at the end of it sometimes. Bye bye.
Hi, I'm Manuel. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm Anaya. And I represent First Serve Miami. It's the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Open, and they're giving us an art court. We were very excited when we were selected to be a part of the U.S. Open Art Courts in conjunction with Chase. I've never seen anything like it, and I think the kids are going to go crazy once they see it. First Serve Miami became a National Junior Tennis and Learning chapter last year. First Serve started in 1974 here in Miami. We were very fortunate to have uh, great leaders in terms of Arthur Ashe. Now we have the backing of USTA to make our program what we've always wanted it to be, tennis and learning. They learn how to wait your turn, how to respect your teammate. You know, we're doing now STEM with them. So within the courts, we're teaching them about technology and mathematics. When you're playing with other people, you have to trust them. They have to trust you. You have more communication involved. I really wanted to play with other people. It was a lot of money coming out from my mom's pocket. And I got sponsored. The first time I picked up a racket, I was a little uh, surprised. I was like, how do you break this thing? <laughs> like, Just the growth of our program has been outstanding. Wherever we go, the kids really want to participate. My favorite U.S. Open champion is Roger Federer. He's always giving back to kids, and I think that's what's awesome about him. I'm really inspired by U.S. Open champion Salone Stevens because we can have our highest high and our lowest lows, but in the end, we know we can fight hard and win it. We are making a significant difference here. Through our Adopt-a-Player program, we have been very fortunate having 47 of 48 kids go to college on full or part-time scholarships. Thank you, U.S. Open and Chase, for bringing the art project to Miami. Yes, okay.